here with a candle review for you. Um, the candle I'm going to review is Love and Sunshine. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So Love and Sunshine was just an individual release. It was a candle, kind of like a solo release that was released along with the body care and a new line of soaps that came out recently. Um, so the packaging looks like so. It just has the clear jar and it says Love and Sunshine and almost like a metallic gold print. Um, it's on like a little coral rectangle. And then in the background, we have this sunny looking background with daisies and leaves and a little lemon in the corner. Um, it does have a lid, which I am grateful for. And then on the bottom, we have our scent description. And it says, fill a room with the juiciest fruits, the brightest blooms, and sunny, cheerful citrus. Um, the wax is just a pretty white color, and it really didn't soot very much at all. It was a pretty clean, burning candle. So the packaging on this, I gave it an 8 out of 10. I really do like the way it looks. I think it's nice and cheerful and sunny looking. Um, it's very clean looking and kind of simple looking and I really like how cheerful it is. Um, I just wish, I mean, the only reason I gave it an 8 instead of like a 10 <laughs> would be because I, I wish it had like a light yellow wax, like a brighter colored yellow cheerful looking wax. I just think that would be more sunshine-y um, since it is love and sunshine. I was hoping it would be like a light yellow or something. I think that would have been really pretty. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10 on the packaging. It is cute, but I've seen cuter of course. Now, according to the scent description, it says it has fruits, blooms, and citrus. Um, it definitely has a fruity scent. It definitely has like a citrus fruit scent. Um, blooms, I don't get any floral from this at all. I do get a little bit of a perfumey smell and that might be what they're calling blooms or that floral note. Um, but primarily when you smell this, you get like a, um, it's citrus, but it's not like a lime or lemon. It's not like a sour, bitter citrus. It's more like an orange type citrus because it's really, really sweet. Um, it's like a... It's like a sweet orangey type citrus um, and then you get like a little perfume note mixed in with that which sounds kind of weird and sounds kind of like unappealing but it actually is a really nice fragrance. Um, I also have the full size of this body care and I really enjoy the scent so if you see it smell it see if it's something that you would like because it really is a nice scent and I really do enjoy that about the candle. It's very pleasant. Um, I think I think most people will like it. I think um I think this is one of those like appeal to the masses candles where everybody's gonna like it and no one's really gonna hate it but nobody's probably going to love it love it love it you know like maybe a few people but not the masses so I think this is like just a like a strong average that the majority of people will like and buy and enjoy um, but it's not gonna cause like a craze which you know sometimes those candles that create like a buzz like I don't know, the strawberry rhubarb one. Sometimes they're unique and they create a buzz because they're unique, but then a lot of people hate the scent. So um, when you take those risky scented candles, you know, it, you, you do take a risk. People are either really gonna love it and it's gonna be like a cult classic or everyone's gonna hate it and think it's disgusting. When you do like a safe candle like this, the majority of people will enjoy it. And so I would just kind of describe the scent appeal or how people are gonna like this. I consider this very safe, like um, this is a good candle that the majority of people will think is you know decent and nice and enjoyable um so very safe they didn't take a whole lot of risks with this scent i don't think all right, so the throw on this candle, unfortunately, was not that great. Um, I gave it like a 5 out of 10, just middle of the road. In the beginning, like the first day I burned it, it was pretty strong. Um, I would say it filled up like a medium-sized room. But then like the second, third, fourth day I burned it, it was virtually unscented. Like I literally had to be right right next to it to smell it. Um, so I was just like, well, let me just burn it up and get rid of it because it really was not very scented at all. Um, like I said, the first part of the candle was great, but then after about here, it was pretty much just unscented all the way through. And that was a bummer for me because I really did enjoy the scent, like I said. Um, but the performance on this was perfect. I mean, it was a 10 out of 10. Um, the flames were nice and high. No drowning. No issues. No soot. Very clean burning. Um, I 
really had no problems with it at all. And you can see on this one, it burned like all the way down to the bottom. A lot of times I still have, you know, a good, a, a little amount of wax left, but this one almost burned the entire candle up. Um, there is not a lot left in there at all to throw away or whatever. So yeah, it, it performed perfectly. I just wish that it would have been kicking out the smell along with that great performance. So um, that was kind of like, that was kind of a letdown, I would say. Um, but you know, it wasn't bad, but it's not like, you know, the best. So would I repurchase it? Um, I would say no, but unfortunately I already did repurchase it. I actually have one more of these in backup because usually the body care scents are very strong. So last time they were on sale and I needed like a second candle to make like a two for 24 or whatever, I actually did pick up another one. So I have one backup, but I almost wish I wouldn't have because I picked it up before I burned this and knowing how lightly it's scented, one really would be enough. So if you haven't burned it, I mean, yeah, I would say you could get one, but one's enough. Um, I, yeah, I have one more, but I'm definitely not going to buy any more than that other one that I still have left. All right, so those are my thoughts on the Love and Sunshine candle. The body care, on the other hand, is phenomenal and really strong smelling. So I actually think the body care is better than the candle this time around. That doesn't normally happen, but um, I would say that that's the deal with this one. The candle is not as nice as the body care, in my personal opinion. So let me know what you guys thought of Love and Sunshine. Of course, you can still get this one in stores. It is still available. Um, so let me know you guys' thoughts. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you love the Love and Sunshine? <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it for this one, and I will see you next time. Bye!